With Halloween just around the corner, Kourtney Kardashian, like many folks, has put out decorations in honor of the spooky holiday. It makes sense that the Push founder would go above and beyond, considering her aesthetic has been rather gothic in recent years. However, fans called out Kourtney Kardashian for her risque Halloween inflatables. The eldest Kardashian-Jenner sibling is married to Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker. Since they started dating, Kourt has adopted a more punk rock style featuring tons of black and skeletons. Her Halloween decorations also put skeletons front and center just in an incredibly suggestive way that sparked backlash from followers. On October 4th, Courtney took to Instagram with a carousel of photos to kick off the new month. Hello October, she captioned her update, which featured a picture of herself gazing adoringly at her and Travis' son, Rocky, in a baby stroller. The post included random recent snapshots documenting her life, but one image in particular caught fans' eyes. After the featured image, Courtney included a photo of Travis with Rocky in the baby stroller in front of the Franklin Theater, a shot of pumpkins arranged on steps, a video of someone making soup, and a picture of Court in a bathroom. The sixth snapshot, however, showed Courtney Kardashian's Halloween inflatables. Interestingly, the skeletons posed in a rather suggestive way, with one straddling the other while wearing a veil. In the comments, Courtney's Instagram followers let their opinions of her skeleton inflatables be heard. Some slammed her for setting a bad example for her kids, Mason, Penelope, and Rain DeSick, and Rocky Barker. One wrote, For you being a mother that cares about what your children put in their mouths, you should also be vigilant about what they see. Do better. Another snarked, Be a role model to your kids and not a muse for your husband. Meanwhile, someone else commented, You have children, and you think the skeleton's positions is appropriate. Ugh tacky. The bashing didn't stop there. Aside from the fact that Courtney's kids would see the suggestive skeletons, fans had other complaints about her Halloween inflatables. This shows that money doesn't mean you have class one person wrote. Someone else pointed out, the amount of dollar you spent on those pumpkins would have been better served to help the hurricane victims another person echoed. Your family just pisses away money. Disgusting yard decor. While a different Instagram user simply declared, okay the inflatable is insane. In 2023, Courtney and Travis channeled the 1989 film Beetlejuice for Halloween. Court was Lydia in her iconic red wedding gown, and Travis wore a striped outfit and full Beetlejuice makeup in a photo shared via Instagram. They dressed up as Chucky and the Bride of Chucky in 2022. And in 2021, Court and Trav's Halloween costumes were the late Sex Pistols bassist, Sid Vicious, and his wife, Nancy Spungen. They debuted a second Halloween look recreating scenes from their favorite movie, True Romance. Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian revealed their relationship on Instagram and even made it official on the Met Gala red carpet. However, things changed, and by August 2022, they had parted ways. Until that happened, though, in one instance, Davidson and Miley Cyrus co-hosted a Miami New Year's celebration while he was still dating Kardashian. On December 10, 2021, Cyrus playfully serenaded Davidson during an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. In the aftermath of Cyrus' performance, several rumors began circulating when fans noticed that Kardashian unfollowed Cyrus on Instagram. During the performance, Cyrus walked from the stage to the sofa where Davidson was seated. She sang Yvonne Fair's It Should Have Been Me, as reported by The Independent. She sang the lyrics, All I know is that it should have been me. Pete, how did you do this to me? Many believed Cyrus was dissing her friend Davidson's relationship with popular reality star Kardashian, whom he was dating at the time. She also sang, in that Lamborghini leaving that nice A asterisk restaurant. I wanna watch a movie in frickin' Staten Island. Here, she appeared to be referring to Davidson's outings with Kardashian, as reported by Stylecaster. The exact reason Kardashian unfollowed the singer remains a mystery, but fans believed it had something to do with Cyrus's playful flirting with Kardashian's then-boyfriend. At first, Kardashian didn't seem to have a problem as she even liked one of Cyrus's Instagram posts promoting her New Year's Eve special after the duo's appearance. However, later it seemed that the only official thing Kardashian likely wanted was Davidson's commitment to her. In November 2021, a source had already confirmed that Kardashian and Davidson were dating, claiming that both of them were very happy and wanted to see where it went. The insider said, Pete has told her he doesn't want to see anyone else. 
Kim is telling some people they aren't super serious, but she isn't seeing anyone else. She's trying to not make a big deal about it, but is super into him. Moreover, in season one of the Kardashians, Kardashian praised the good morning actor, calling him an amazing person. She said, Pete has got to be literally the best human being I have ever met. Like, the best heart. She added, he always wants the best for people. He can handle anything and he always does it with grace. After news of her relationship with Davidson became public, Kardashian also filed to be legally single after her marriage to Kanye West ended. Later in 2022, Kardashian explained about her separation from the former Saturday Night Live star and acknowledged that breakups aren't her style. As reported by Entertainment Tonight, she said, We just had talks and talks, we've been talking about it. So it's just like both of us just communicating really well about it. It's obviously sad when you. Nine months. It's like a long time. I don't have random hookups and relationships.